Hello and thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jaden and I am with JoomDev. In this video, we'll go through Joomla 4 Alpha 12 version, which came out last week, about four days ago. And the Joomla 4 Alpha 12 uh, is, is another release for Joomla 4 that is getting us close to completion. Uh, we also know that the beta version is going to be released uh, before the end of the year so late November or early December we're going to see that and you know that should have a lot more than these alpha builds have so that that should work and the alpha 12 version has the following things if we look at that various bug fixes from alpha 11 so these are smaller things and then merge of Joomla uh, previous version so these are anything that was released in these versions has been added and this is the main feature for today's video, HTML mail templates, and we're gonna look at this. So uh, now the new version of Joomla lets you modify the common uh, emails that Joomla send out using the Joomla backend itself, which, which is great for the end user. And on the technical side, it's improvement to my SQL 8 compatibility. So that would work as well. Now let's jump into the back end and look at what the mail templates look uh, looks like. So this is our default Joomla 4 alpha 12 login screen. And if I go to system and then it's templates, mail templates. Okay, this is where the templates are, the email templates are. So you go to system, templates, and then mail templates. Again, this is the main thing we're gonna be looking at today. And let's see how we can edit this template. So it says global configuration test mail. The mail is sent when you click test mail. Okay, can we edit this? Or maybe can we create a new one? Yeah, so I think uh, you edit it by clicking on the flag because it allows you to, if you have a multi-language website where you have multiple languages, it allows you to set multiple templates uh, based on the language. So it's not confusing things you're editing. In, in this case, since I installed this in English, I'm gonna be editing the English template. So let's click that. And you can see right now it gives me so before I enable editing, it gives me the variables. Uh, these are language constants, actually not variable, language constants. Now the constants are in language files. We can obviously, in previous versions of Joomla, we could override these using the Joomla's extension uh, language manager, which we still can do, but specifically for these, I think we have the newer one. So. We go ahead and do that and you can see it says test from site name and these are variables we can use so if i i think if i click this it would just insert it yeah it does so you can kind of see instead of saying you know test from test mail from joomla 4 site we can say this is a test email using smtp or something like that you know you could modify this and once you're done save it and send your test email and you should be good so that's one thing that's that's how you edit a temp a templates existing ones there isn't an option to create new templates at least not the one i can see so i think in the newer version we will in the next version we will have a lot more templates because i think this is just a test email and you know all the user emails that go out or the article submission emails that go out those we will also have access to in the future versions uh, let's sneak peek around and see what else is new in the Joomla version. So if we look at, now the design has been modified a bit again. Uh, so that's there. But other than that, mm, we go to articles and so the UI is modified. The button types are modified a bit. These tabs have been modified a bit. And this looks the same. This looks pretty much the same. So I don't see anything different here. Uh, yeah, this this we reviewed in the last release. So this this looks pretty much the same and uh, We go to fields workflows. 
this is the same from previous Joomla 4 version. So again, I think there are a lot of minor improvements that anyone would oversee. But looking at this from a, you know, a standpoint where if we ever trying to find new stuff, I don't think it's that simple that we can just go in and find new stuff because it's just uh, there are smaller improvement like the layout of this tab possibly has changed. But it's hard to look at it or realize that it has changed unless we are specifically looking at it side by side. So um, and this is more simplified. I think this this is much more simplified now. So that's it. That's the small walkthrough for whatever changes were done in Joomla 4 Alpha 12. Do let us know if you find anything else that I did not find in the comments down below and I'll try to cover it in my next video. Until then, God bless and enjoy your Joomla sites.